Dog owners had a one-off chance to take their pets to the movies today. Around 100 pooches joined their owners for a special screening and many of those owners are hoping it's the beginning of a trend that'll see dogs allowed to go more places. Dana Vesic explains. Dressed in their Saturday best. She's got her Addy dog jumper on. <laughs> it was a day at the flicks for these fur babies. Among the pack, the Schuberts, Poochie Mama, Dog Father, Jinxie and Willow. We want to do everything with our dogs. From a Rottweiler dressed in a Chinese New Year dragon jacket to matchy matchy doggies, miniature dachshunds and pound pups, no one was denied entry. He's called a Huntley Special. <laughs> What's that? Um, it's a bit of Staffy, a bit of Collie, yeah we're not sure what else. <laughs> We've never been to the movies since we rescued him six months ago because we've never ever left him on his own. And today Boston had the full treatment with a photo first by waiting Pup Arazzi. Once inside, they snuggled in to see their brothers and sisters on the big screen. I'm Max. I'm the little dog right there, grateful I'm not being piled on by a horde of children. Organisers say the reason behind today's event is to create a more dog-friendly New Zealand. Apparently, we're behind many countries when it comes to allowing dogs in public places. When we've been to America, we've been into really nice restaurants and people just walk on in with their dog on a leg, sit down under the table and have a meal like it's just no big deal. You know, straight onto the train, go out in public, just basically wherever you go. Proceeds today went to the SPCA and we can expect more on the campaign to allow dogs into more public places. Diana Vesic, News Hub.